Treasurer. Treasurer, the people of Wodonga are very disappointed that you're not able to talk to them tomorrow. And they've asked, um, um, they've asked me on their behalf to ask you about what is the government going to do about reducing the impact of red tape, particularly as it impacts on cross-border businesses. Can you give us a commitment to pay attention to making a Commonwealth Act or Commonwealth action to reduce cross-border anomalies for the people of, and particularly the businesses of Wodonga? The Treasurer has the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, um, and I thank the member for the question. I was very much looking forward, actually, to being Wodonga tomorrow. But as as the member would know, members will need to be here in, in the Parliament, Mr. Speaker, and so therefore I was. I, and and if, look, if, that, if the offer's there, I'll be happy to get to Wodonga, Mr. Speaker, and to be able to go and join uh, my good friend Sophie Mirabella, uh, who is uh, running again uh, in the seat of uh, Aubrey Wodonga, and uh, and uh, sorry, in the in the seat of Indi. Uh, to uh, provide the opportunity for, the, for those who are in Indi to see a good government <coughs> member uh, return to the, to the government ranks and to ensure uh, that that voice is heard. And I really want to commend the, member, um, the former member for Indi, Sophie Mirabella, on the great work she's doing in her campaign, listening to the people out there in Indi. And she had put together a very extensive range of events for you to go and listen to those uh, constituents. But the issue that the member has raised the issue the member has raised relates to regulation reduction. And one of the things that has happened on this side of the House over the last two and a half years is I would hope the member would, would acknowledge. And that has been the significant reduction in red tape burden on business, particularly small business in this country, in, to the tune of billions and billions and billions. And but the thing is, what we know about red tape reduction and reducing regulation is you know that every piece of regulation has to be fit for purpose and it has to do its job. And that's why this government has had a complete open door for recommendations to come forward as to how that the regulation burden Treasurer, can be reduced. The Treasurer will resume his seat. Billion... Treasurer resume his seat. The member for Indi on a point of order. Uh, irrelevance to the question of cross-border anomalies. The Treasurer has the call. The Mr Speaker, I was addressing the issue of regulation. Mm. Some $4.5 billion in compliance and other regulatory costs have been removed by this government. Some 10,000 pages of regulation have been cleared away to ensure that businesses across the country can get on with their job. An issue in terms of cross-border regulation, and particularly where those issues might deal with state and territory jurisdictions, they are things that are, are properly addressed also through the COEG process, <coughs> which the Prime Minister has been a, a, a strong leader on in terms of getting those sorts of economic resource <coughs> agendas on the COAG agenda. So we are very open to the proposals when it comes to reducing regulation in this country. We have $4.5 billion worth of regulatory savings that back our record up on that, and more than 10,000 pages in regulations that have been removed to support that position. And I'm indeed sorry at this stage I won't be able to be in Wodonga tomorrow. I would love to be there, to be there with Sophie Mirabella, who would make an outstanding return to the House as the member for Indi.